2013 is the year when most technology companies became megalomaniacs. They are competing with one another who will break new grounds in terms of display size. Although they are multifunctional, huge smartphones are certainly not to anyone's taste. If you are of the people who would prefer a compact 3.5-inch smartphone, then stay with us. This is HTC Desire 200. As you can see, this is one cute and compact handset. It is very comfortable to hold and I think ladies will appreciate it the most, as it sits perfectly in small hands. This is an entry-level smartphone, which is mostly targeted at young people. The body is small but quite thick at 0.47 inches. The material used here is plastic with a patterned finish in order to prevent it from slipping out of your hand. The earpiece is covered with HTC Distinctive Grill. HTC Desire 200 is available in black and white. The 3.5 inch display here delivers 320 by 480 pixel resolution, which results in 165 ppi density. The colors and contrast are decent, but what ruins the picture is the really low resolution, which makes it quite pixelated. The capacitive touchscreen supports multi-touch and is very responsive, which is also the case with the three capacitive keys below the screen. Performance and productivity are handled by Qualcomm Snapdragon S1 processor, working at 1 GHz frequency. It quickly copes with basic menu tasks and light browsing, but don't expect much especially if you often play games and watch high-definition videos. This is an entry-level smartphone and it's meant to handle mostly basic tasks. System processes are provided with 512 MB of RAM. HTC Desire 200 comes with Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich and also HTC a bit outdated Sense 4. The home screens are pretty simple and clean. The smartphone is provided with 4 GB of internal storage, but only 1 GB is user available, which limits the amount of apps and files you may use. At least there is a microSD slot for up to 32 GB cards. The sound that comes out of HTC Desire 200 is boosted by the Beats Audio technology. It is clear and loud, but quite flat. The camera is only one, it is placed centrally on the back and has a 5 megapixel quality. That means 2592 by 1728 pixel resolution of the outcome images. Focusing is fast and precise. The camera software offers a couple of color filters as well as a few manually controlled adjustments like exposure, contrast, saturation and sharpness. Video footage comes out in VGA quality. Unfortunately, there is no flash to accompany the camera in dark environments. Below the plastic back panel, a 1230 mAh battery piece is placed. It offers enough juice for around 7 hours using it for talking and surfing on 3G or up to 800 hours on standby.